this can either go very right or it can go very wrong. <laughs> exactly. And a lot of people at the moment, it's a very tricky time because some people have got a bit of a tan, some people haven't. So the mistake that a lot of people make is up their foundation colour, which is a huge no-no, uh, guys. Okay, really? So even if your foundation's looking a little bit pale, these are great kind of tricks that you can do to lift your skin. It's the most natural way to do it. Now, the one thing I wanted to try on Rosie is I'm going to show you how to pick your perfect bronzing powder. Now I've got all three matte bronzers here. Now I think matte bronzers are the most flattering. So do I. If you want a shimmery one then you can use a highlighter, that's fine. But I think to start off with just go for a nice matte natural colour. Now as you can see here I've got three different colours and the best way to do it is hold it up to your chest. Okay, can I guess which one I think yes. you should use? Can I move? Yeah. Well, maybe, I mean, this one maybe, or are you thinking this one? So, Not that one. So the thing. Or do you think that one? Well, the thing that I would go is because we have chosen, and now the thing that I'd say this one's not really going to do anything in the middle, okay? Or oh, maybe, maybe you're right actually. This one here is a little bit pale again, so I actually would go for the slightly for, for darker long. because it's still going to match her chest no, colour. No, good point. I probably went for the one that was as she is now, like yes, a powder. Yes, which is not a bad thing as long as you're not going too muddy that's okay. the other thing the other thing is also what kind of brush do you use to put a bronzer on a lot of people use quite a flat headed brush or quite a firm brush i find that's when you get that kind of muddy streak right and that's really not what you want you want a really beautiful something like this this is a brand new brush actually out today this is by real techniques and it's super soft it's actually all synthetic hair but it's so soft it mimics nice. real hair basically and what you do is you take a little bit of of the bronzer and then what I'm going to do is, you're literally going where the sun would naturally hit you, okay? So where you'd naturally get a tan is on your forehead. So do a little bit on the forehead, like round the temple area. And you're simply, it's all very natural. You don't want to go too heavy. I'm not contouring here. You're just taking a little bit onto the cheeks. Because mm -hmm. again, that's where you'd get a little bit of a tan. So I'm not kind of sucking in the cheeks or anything like that. And then across the ridge of the nose, because I always love that when you get a little bit of tan on your nose. I always think it looks really pretty. Mm. And then on the cheeks as well here. And the other bit that I think is crucial is underneath. Because you know whenever you go on holiday, you always get that little white patch. Yeah, 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 you do. So annoying. But also, so the great thing about matte bronzers is it's also really good for guys too. I use always matte bronzers on guys um, because it looks really natural and just really soft. But as you can see, what to to to, to just again to lift your lift skin to, a little to, bit. To a bit. You know, they they also oh. want to have a little bit of colour sometimes. Oh. And this is the most natural way I, I think perked of doing up a bit there. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching uh, the boats oh, going by outside. <laughs> and then I uh, mentioned boys. But <laughs> oh. I just think that's a really nice thing. And also the other thing you can do with your bronzer, which I do all the time, is put, use it as eyeshadow. I do that. Yeah, I, I do love that. it. I've actually done that today. Have you? Yeah, I just really like it. I like using... A nice simple, natural tone, isn't it? But also if you've got it in your bag and you're like, oh, I want to, you know, define my eyes a little bit more, just simply put it on. You know it's going to work colour-wise because it matches your colour tone. Mm. And it's just a really simple wash of colour. And it just looks really pretty, but again, you've got no heavy lines, nothing. No, too really nice, soft. and it doesn't look as dark as it did in the pot because, like you said, you've just very gently put it on. So exactly. The other one that I really love. Now, I've actually called this one in because this is my favourite bronzer. What is that? Now, this is a bronzer. This is from Laura Geller. This bronzer, and it's got a really beautiful marble effect. Now, this one is semi matte, and it's got a slight bit of brightening in it. It hasn't got any shimmer in it. So again, I've used this on boys on camera. It looks amazing. Looks like someone made. A mistake with yeah. it. Yeah, it's baked, so it's a mineral powder, so it's very, very good. It's for still you. got it's quite a lot of. It has got a bit of sheen, glitter. I would say, but do you know what? I've used this on people and it looks amazing, so it really? just enhanced. So, again, if you're going to do one that's a mixture, then do it so it's all marbled effect, so it's mixed into the palette rather than too glittery okay. or too matte. All right, all right. Um, perfect. The other thing I just wanted to show you is I'm really keen on this. This really lifts your kind of like bronze glow. And we tried Are it on Rosie earlier. Ever, I remember in the 90s wearing Guys, Rimmel Heather Shimmer. It's coming back. It's coming back. Is it? Yes, Are it you is. joking? I mean, probably not the Rimmel one. This is from um, Huda. This is amazing. This is a metallic liquid gloss. Can we just appreciate the bronze of this? I love it. See, now I, I actually remember this the first time. Yeah, this it's is happening. Around, really. It's happening again. The nineties are back. Just go. But can we just say even something a bit James think, Bond about that, isn't it? It's like it a is. Bond girl yeah, type of thing. Think, oh, I'm not sure. I actually have it on. I had I had one on as well, and I jokingly put it on in the shop the other day with a really dark one, and my friend was like, "Actually, it looks really good, but it's really pretty. Let's you can see, put it over the top of something." I mean, actually. 
But it does lift everything a little bit. And it on Rosie's quite... skin tone, it actually looks it really does. pretty. It does. It's not as scary as I thought I it was going to be. Oh, I love that. Okay. Bring back the Moving on. Day.